The Minister of Justice and Correctional Services advocate Michael Masuta will officially launch the court-annexed mediation in Motsia Stat village, Mahikeng, today. The alternative dispute resolution mechanism will allow for a negotiated settlement and alleviate huge litigation costs. And this is part of the department's commitment to transform the civil justice system and, of course, broaden access to justice services. Let's find out more about this. Uh, Emily Dlamini from the Department of Justice and Correctional Services is our guest here on the program. It's good to have you. Thank you very much for being our guest. Thank you. Good morning, Dean, and uh, morning to the viewers. All right. So uh, I, I'm sure a lot of people don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to annexed mediation. What is that? The court annexed mediation is the alternative dispute resolution mechanism that the Department of Justice has embarked on. Uh, it's different from the normal litigation process. That is where a neutral person or par person um, assist parties in a dispute to resolve their dispute. Yeah, okay. So obviously having something like this is, is aimed at making civil justice more accessible to the citizen. Yes, it's uh, aimed at making justice more accessible. Uh, it's cost effective. It's less technical with less legalities. So, so when we look at some of the existing processes, which ones are going to be done away with? What, what is going to change? The focus of mediation services will be on civil law as well as uh, family law services. But mm. it will be limited to certain areas of the civil section and uh, family law. For instance, in the family law, um, maintenance matters can be mediated upon where parties can be brought together and agree uh, to a settlement which is amicable. Uh, there are also civil uh, law um, processes, for instance, where a contract has been entered into and has not been fully complied with, it can go through mediation. But parties have a choice uh, to mediate, and during mediation they can also opt if they feel that uh, the mediation process is, is not to what they have expected, they can opt to go through the normal litigation route. But obviously the cost is more with litigation as both parties have to be represented by lawyers or legal representatives. Yeah. Is this something that, um, the idea, where did it come from? Why, why did the minister feel that this is the route to go? In actual fact, uh, we have been having mediation processes. If you look at the uh, traditional court processes, they do mediation where people are brought together to resolve uh, issues mm. of dispute. Uh, although it is focusing at this stage uh, on uh, criminal law services, but mediation has been there. Uh, South Africa has adopted it. There are a number of countries that are using mediation services, like for instance in England, they are using mediation services. Okay, so this is, this is an example of of how to speed up the justice system, make it more accessible to the people. Yes. Uh, but there's also an education tool that comes with this because I believe that the minister is going to several communities to create awareness about this. Where is he going? Where is this all starting? Um, the minister will be in Mahikeng uh, at the Barolong Community Hall where he will be launching the court annexed mediation process. Okay. Uh, the rules were launched in Gauteng uh, during December. Yes. All right, so the rules are launched. Um, when will it be operational, though? The operations have started from the 1st of December. Okay, so uh, it's already in operation. It's already How in operation. Where, the, where? There are 13 centers. There are 10 in Gauteng province yeah. and three in the northwest. It started in Gauteng in the northwest. Okay, so yes. this is just a rollout and he's hoping to get this in the entire country and Yes, different areas. this is a pilot and um, it will be rolled out to the entire country uh, in the new financial year which will commence on the 1st of April. How exactly does it work? How does it work for an individual? Okay, maybe let me start off by saying that the department has appointed uh, uh, legal interns that have been in service for over a year now. They have undergone training on mediation processes. And um, after the training today, part of what the minister will be doing will be issuing out certificate to the uh, 55 interns. Yeah. But over and above that, we have um, 
uh, legal practitioners and other people who meet the qualification and the standards of becoming mediators and those people have been registered as uh, mediators. Uh, parties have an option of uh, mediation but it should be in an area that has been proclaimed as a mediation site. I've already mentioned the 10 sites in Gauteng and the three sites in, in the northwest. Mm -hmm. And it should be within the jurisdiction of the civil or the family law services. How it works is that uh, parties at claimant will bring uh, the application to, to court for mm -hmm. mediation purposes. The mediator, mediation clerk, will provide them with the list of mediation from which the parties can choose from. Once they have made a choice of who should mediate in their matter, then the mediator will come into the process, bringing the two parties together, assisting them to reach a settlement, which settlement can be made a, it can either be made a court, a order of court, yeah. uh, or it can be filed in a file where the two parties have agreed. Okay. on a settlement. I, this obviously um, is going to alleviate the cost of access to justice. Is that also one of the aims? It is going to alleviate the cost and uh, the minister has already approved the tariffs. Uh, they were gazetted uh, last year and the tariffs are, are very, very uh, cost effective. For example, it's what, affordable. What, what would be a tariff for an, a normal case that comes through? Well, depending on the duration of the mediation, we have up to a maximum of uh, 6,000, yeah. you know, depending on the duration and the level of the mediator okay. that will be dealing with the particular uh, dispute. Well, an interesting um, take on, on where the law is moving here in South Africa when it comes to um, justice and correctional services. The minister launching in uh, um, Maheking today, this pilot project advocate, uh, Michael Masuta, but talking to us about it from the department is Emily Dlamini. Uh, she, of course, is from correctional services. Thank you. Good luck with it. Thank and hopefully this will roll out and be a nationwide thing by the end of this year, hopefully. Thank you. Thanks Good. for the interview. An absolute pleasure. Thanks for being with us. All right, let's take a break. When we're Turn. We'll have the main news bulletin at 7 o'clock for you. Stay tuned.